What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over word search. <clears throat> now the input is going to be a string and a grid of characters and the output needs to be true if we can make this word uh, using the letters in this grid. So we can say coder, C-O-D-E-R. Now <clears throat> the conditions are that we have to go only up, down, left or right and we can't reuse the same letter. So uh, in this case, it's going to be true. Now, <clears throat> when approaching problems like this, we always should take care of a few separate uh, conditions. So the first condition I always like to take care of is make sure anytime we're recursively checking, we don't go out of bounds. And also, we use the data structures to hold track of directions like up, down, and left, and right. We write those first and then we'll get into the meat of the code. So the runtime complexity of this problem is going to be in the worst case is if we check every single square in the grid and we can't find it. So that would be uh, O of M times N where M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. So uh, O of M N, M is rows. N is columns. So, what are those two helper uh, methods first? Uh, method and data structure. So, since the condition is that we only go up, down, left, and right, we'll make these first. So, 0, 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0. So, this would be forward, this would be backward, this would be down, and this would be up. Now, the helper method to check where, whether the bounds or not will look like this. So boolean outside, that's a helper, uh, character grid, int i, int j. If o, uh, what is it? If i is less than zero or i is greater than or equal to grid dot length or j is less than zero or j is greater than or equal to grid dot length then we return true meaning we're out of bounds else we return false which means we're safe now we're going to use these two within our, our function So this is, the intuition behind this is kind of like doing a real uh, word search. We start looking for the first letter in here and we see, okay, there's a C here and there's a C here. So we know that we're gonna have to work with the spaces where we have a beginning letter that are matching. So we have this C and this C here. Now, anytime we find one, we're going to recursively check if, if uh, the solution matches. So there's a couple things that we need to hold on to when we're checking. So anytime we have these recursive searching function, uh, searching problems, uh, I, I like to use some uh, additional you know, data structure or some variables which keeps track of some state. So for this problem, what we can do is have a pointer and it's going to point to which position we have successfully found so far. So when we come to the C here, we can say, okay, the C correctly works, right? Then when we go to the next one, say here, um, we can say O is the correct one. And then when the pointer goes to D, uh, we can say that's correct. When the pointer goes to E, for this one, we can say correct. And when the pointer finally comes to R, the final one, we can say yes, we found it. So we can simply use an integer for that and that is going to be one of the variables we pass in. So um, how do we keep track of the condition where we're not allowed to reuse the same letter? So uh, one way we can do it is every time we are checking whether a letter is valid and if it, if it matches is this. 
we say for example we come to the C here, right? We can uh, have a placeholder, like say a hyphen, and then look around it. So when when we come to C for the first time, uh, C becomes the hyphen, and then this block is going to ask its neighbors, say up, down, left, or right, and it's going to check whether it's a, a valid place in the input string. So when it checks the top, it's out of bounds, so it's gonna return false. And when it asks it's left, right, and down, they're gonna say, no, we are not the letter in the position you're, like, you're looking for. So they're all gonna say false. And if everything returns false, then we can replace this uh, original, hyphen, we can replace the hyphen with the original thing, which was a C. Now, in the case of coder, what we can do is um, go to C, when it matches, we put a hyphen there, and we hold on to it. And then he's gonna ask his up, down, left, and right. And he's gonna say, hey, C was at position zero. So C, O, D, E, R. This was at position zero. And then when he's passing, he's gonna ask the next letter. He's going to ask, he's gonna give O, he's gonna say one. So. This is false because it's out of bounds. This is false because it's out of bounds. And then when O goes here, O is gonna say, yes, I'm matching. After C, uh, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to be an O because of position one. And then this guy is gonna say, okay, hold on. Let me ask my neighbors. So this guy's gonna be hyphen. He's gonna check up, down, left, right. This is out of, out of bounds. And this is already uh, part of the recursive stack. This is being visited currently. So. We, uh, we get false back from this side, this is gonna be false. But then when we ask D, he's gonna say yes, I'm in position two. So he's gonna say, hold on, let me check my up, down, left, and right, up, down, left, and right. Uh, this is false, this is false, and this is gonna be false because he's looking at a already visited one. But E is gonna say, uh, yes, I'm the one you're looking for. And then this is gonna become uh, true and um, Similarly, he's gonna check up, down, left, and right. And R is also going to uh, get the variable. And when he, he gets the final position, he is going to, he's actually not going to be, become a hyphen because when the position is the last one here, we already know that we've found the full word, so we can just return true. <clears throat> so when that returns true, they all go back to what they were originally, C, O, D, E, R. And that's how the grid is actually changing with the recursive calls. So let's get into the actual problem. So the first intuition is that we need to always look for the first letter of this. Uh, let's say int m is equal to grid dot length and int m is equal to grid total length of the columns then we say for int i is equal to zero i is less than m i plus plus and then for int j is equal to zero j is less than m j plus plus and then we say if uh, grid, the first letter, grid of i of j is equal to s dot char at uh, zero, then we can start looking recursively. So what, what, let's recollect what we need to pass in. Well, of course we need to pass in the grid and the position where we found c, i and j, then we need to pass in the string itself. And then the key variable is the position variable. So initially this is gonna be at position zero. So this is going to be that one. And uh, if uh, th this, this statement returns true, then we know we can return true for the final answer. Else, we return false. So let's see the meat of the algorithm in here. DFF. 
this character grid the position we're in and then the um, the string itself and then finally the position um, we can actually just say POS or yeah so anytime we're dealing with recursive functions it always helps to take care of the base cases first now we know that we can't look at anything outside the grid so let's take care of everything which is going to return negative first if we're outside or if we're trying to look at a letter which is not matching in the position right if we say character uh, not character grid is not the position we have in the string or if we already visited that one temporarily at least you say a hyphen like that um, what else so we're outside we're not the correct letter we want and we already visited it that's it so then we return false so when do we return true well the only time we return true is if we finally reach the last letter and uh, we can get that because we have a, a pointer a position variable so if position plus one because we're zero indexed is equal to s dot length then we return true and that's it that's the core of the logic now we do the easy part which is checking up down and left right so we already have a helper method for that so for int k is equal uh, we already have helper data structures for that is less than x dot length k plus plus so int row is going to be uh, x of k plus i and int co is going to be j plus y of k this is just to get the up down left right we can actually call this we can say if dfs of um, grid row co uh, s and pos plus one this one is important if that's the true this is the key part because every time we're recursively calling we need to increment the pointer if that's true then we return true else we return false now let's see is that making sense so we have the k here now what we have to take care of is how were we going to temporarily store the character that was there when we uh, remove it and put the hyphen we have to do that before the for loop all we have to do is say character t is grid of i of j and then we put a temporary hyphen we say now, whenever, whenever we're done with the um, for loop, I'll just move this a bit here. We put back what we took out temporarily. And then we can return false. So that is, that is the final step. We took care of going outside. We took care of making sure the letter is what, we're, what we need in the string. And then we made sure that we keep track of visited letters by putting a hyphen, taking it out temporarily, and putting it back in when we're done with the recursion. So that's how you solve uh, word search. Uh, thank you for watching, and yeah.